In this video, I'm going to show you some examples of how to multiply fractions by fractions. Question one is one third times three sevenths. When we multiply fractions, we're just going to multiply the numerators together and also multiply the denominators together. So we have one times three is three and three times seven is 21. This can be simplified by dividing by three over three because three is a common factor of three and 21. That gives us one seventh. Question two, one seventh times seven twelfths. We have one times seven, and then we have seven times 12. And that gives us seven over 84, which can be simplified because seven is a common factor of both seven and 84. So in simplest form, that is one over 12. Question three, three fourths times six elevenths. We have three times six for our numerators and four times 11 for the denominators, which is 18 over 44. You can pull out a two over two and get nine over 22. Now I do wanna go back and look at each of these again and show you that we could have actually cross simplified on all three of these problems before we began. So in problem number one, if you cross simplified, three over three is equal to one over one. So then when you multiply your numerators and denominators, you get one over seven, th seven right away. On question number two, one over seven times seven over 12, same thing, we could cross simplify and pull out a seven over seven, get one over one, which would give you two, straight to one over 12. And on number three, three fourths times six elevenths, we can cross simplify by pulling out a two. Six divided by two is three, and four divided by two is two. Then we get nine over 22 directly without having to do any simplifying at the end of the problem. I strongly recommend that when you are multiplying fractions, you always look to see if there's a way that you can cross simplify before you just jump right in and multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. These were fairly simple uh, multiplying fractions problems with small numbers for the numerators and denominators. But if you get more complex problems with large numerators and large denominators, you're going to spend an awful lot of time uh, just do not only do your, doing your calculations, but then at the end uh, trying to simplify your, your very uh, complicated, very complex fractions. So if you go ahead and, and look for ways to, to do cross simplification at the beginning, it will save you a lot of time in the long run.